Heavyweight Wing Championship of Great Britain. Coming into line then for race one, Rob Meehan, Michael Faulkner, Charlie Saunders, Thomas Cooper, Andrew Mellish, Andrew Rittiger, Rory Cavell, Scott Campus and Steve Ray for the riders on the line then for race number one, the first seat in the Under-21 Championship of Great Britain. Takes for up then for this start and they come by us for the first time. Looks like Steve Ray has got the leader moving up top. Second place, Rob Meehan has got the third place, which they go. Then that back straight for the first time. Look at the lead that Steve Rafe is building over Charlie Saunders there in second place. Looks as if Scott Campus has got machine problems on that top band as they go into the pits corner for the first time. It is Steve Rafe for the lead of them from Charlie Saunders pushing hard in second place. Rafe looks behind him. Over Saunders in second place. Andy Mellish in five they go into that back corner once again Steve Rayford storming away the front but still Saunders holding that second place Mill's got the third it's Cooper getting close in four and Andy Mellish trying to close the gap on Thomas Cooper sees this loading up in that fourth place pushing Steve Rayford storming away the front it's still Charlie Saunders holding that second place and there it's third it's Cooper in four Mellish is in five that's the top five as they go to the back straight once again and it's getting set Steve Crawford looking behind him, he's really storming away from Charlie Saunders who can't close the gap at all there in second place. It's still Mia in third with definitely Thomas Cooper closing up in four. Andrew Mellis holds his fifth place, they move on to four then. Crawford's got this one to first, still Saunders in second. As a leader, Steve Bradford absolutely coasted down that back straight. Rory Cabell's got the sixth place. Scott Camp has got down again in the seventh place position. So it's 2 1 5. Steve Bradford going to win the first heat of the under 21 British Championship. Steve Bradford gets the winning line. A wide right in Charles Saunders picks up the second place. And Thomas Cooper has gone through into third. Neil gets the fourth place. Andrew Mellish is in five. Rory Cavell comes across the line in sixth, Scott Campus in seventh place. Race one of the under-21 championship of Great Britain. The win for 2-1-5, Steve Braidford. Second number 25, Charlie Saunders. And third, 1-5-3, Thomas Cooper. 1-5-1, 47, 36, and 178. Don't forget all points count in this under 21 championship. The heat points go through to the semi finals. The semi finals points go through to the finals. So everything counts in all the races for this under 21 championship. Race number two, one non starter, number 23, Chris Johnson, Jamie Rogers, Lewis Denham, Mark Richardson, Martin Rathel. Those Paul Derrick, those could well be the ones to watch in race number two of Clash Straight Away of Jamie Rogers and Lewis Denham. Lewis Denham in action last evening. Jamie Rogers has just come down this morning to ride in this under-21 championship. So uh, this should be cracking racing between these two in the second heat of the under-21 championship. second place still, he's still building a big lead already over Martin Rath has gone through in the third place position it's Lewis Denham in Egypt and Jamie Rogers in second place Denham goes wide Rogers trying to find a way through on the inside Rogers in second place is a big lead over he's still between the Rath and 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 Rath and
Jack Madden is in sixth place, that's the top six for me in seventh. As they go in that pitch corner, one, two, and still down the lead. Roger's trying to play the gap on the entry to that pitch corner. Red, the same line coming out of that pitch corner. He's trying to close the gap in second place. Into the top corner they go once again, down and slowly but surely is pulling away from Reds in second place. These two, the ones that are still still in third in the afternoon field, but Paul Gerrard still holding that fourth place and Jack Murray with the five, fourth man in sixth. The leader, Lewis Tenham, into the pitch corner on lap number three, spectacular style, leap top of that pitch bend. Then it's going to have the pool and the Reds will come out of that there in second place. These two are in amongst the back markers in this huge talented track as they go down the back straight once again Richardson gone through into the third place that is a factor four this day it can play as they look for Lewis Dunham in and out of that pitch corner 40 for more time in race number two the the 21 championship Lewis Dunham gets the winning ride second place goes to Jamie Rogers so a long long way back for the uh, third and fourth place riders Coming out of that tough eye, it's Martin Ruffle that picks up the third place position. He's followed by Roman 7, Paul Derrick. Then we've got Jack Meredith and number 14, Stuart Meyer. I think uh, Mark Richardson may well be a lap down, we will we'll pick up the seventh place position. Race number two. It Race number two, in for number 81, Lewis Denham. Second, number 71, Jamie Rogers. And third, number 29, Martin Rathel. 117, 461, 14, and 18. Race three, delete number four, Jack Roberts, non-starter. And number 23, Stephen Taylor is 23 and not 231. goes up away to go in with race number three and you're still in Taylor out of the leader Tim Bell's third in that top in that top it looks like Tim Bell's going for me and said he won that corner forward he's come out in fourth place and leads going in the back straight for the first time it's Stephen Taylor who holds his second place push and the move into the pitch corner the spectacular style of Tim Bell's leads coming out of that uh, pitch bend and through a complete the other lap looks behind him to see Stephen Taylor on lap number two. Stephen Taylor trying to close the gap there in second place. It's still what's holding the third place position. Into the pitch corner once again. Tim Nobbs again looking behind him. It's Paul Mustard in third here, that's in third place. Then Nick Mallet goes through the five, they will all drop back to six. Number 68, Dean Barwick, is in seventh place with 37. Ben Finsmith in the eighth place position. As Tim Nobbs are clearly, they're going into that pitch corner on a lap number three. Good lead over Stephen Taylor, who holds that second place. Tim Nobbs looks behind him as he goes on to four. It's Stephen Taylor in second there. We look back to see Andrew Palmer in third. Rob Watts seems to be struggling. Drops that fourth place to Nick Mallet. They go and go to number six. Rob Watts pulls out with a six point run in number 13. We see Tim Nobbs into that pitch corner for the final time in this uh, race number three. Tim Nobbs gets the winning ride. Stephen Taylor picks up the second place position. Should be Alan Palmer to come across the line in third. Adam Palmer gets the third place. They roll us down there up to four. 68. Then Barlick is in fifth and then Smith in sixth place. Uh, Race three was on. The win for number two, Tim Nob. Second number 23, Stephen Taylor. And third number 24, Adam Fulmer. 887. 68. 37. 58 and 13. Race number four, first heat of the 250s, delete 42, Mark Williams, pulling number 64, Rob Bradley. Goodness here, 
Pull one of the two fifties across the grid then for this race number four. We start off the support program for the uh, under 21 championship. Race number four, the first of the 250s gets away, looks like Rob Bradley on David Knowles, the senior leader, come by for the first time, Mark Evans goes through the second place, it's Colin Howe in third with the number seven, Colin Hansford in fourth place, that's the top four, big sort out going on for the minor places, and it's a change of vision, Colin Howe now goes through into that second place, where again in Mark Evans in third, as Rob Bradley leads into the pits corner for the first time, Colin Howe in second, it's Mark Evans in third, Mark and his comeback meeting after getting injured at Worcester early on in the season, Rob Bradley leads in. Mark Evans on the second, Colin Howe will again to the third. It's Sam Morby in third, Evans in five, that's the top five with number 32. Jamie Ben Smith holding that sixth place vision, tremendous action there for second and third, and Colin Howe again has got back through on the inside, but Mark Evans again retakes that second place, they're closing well up on the leader, Rob Bradley, nothing much between first, second and third as Rob Bradley takes a wide line, Mark Evans takes a much tighter line there in second place, and Bradley leads them, and Evans in second, it's Ham in third, we look at that top of the front, Sam Morby still holds that third place, and Mark Evans has got round the edge of Rob Bradley, leads his first in over two fifties, down the back straight, Evans leads it from Bradley in second, it's Colin Howe now looking at second place of Rob Bradley, he's pulling away from Sam Morby, holds the fourth place position, into the pits corner once again, Colin Howe on the shoulder of Rob Bradley, he's the leader coming on the start lap for this time, it's Mark Evans who leads it from Rob Bradley in second, Colin Howe holds a third, Sam Morby's in fourth, Dean Garrett goes through the five. Debbie Penn Smith is in six points. They go in the back straight, 40 from our Tom and Colin Howe's made a move on the edge of Rob Bradley. Rob Bradley comes back again to retake that second place super action, the second and third, as Mark Evans starts to increase his lead at the front of the pits corner for the final time in race number four. Mark Evans gets the one in line in the first hit of the 250. Rob Bradley gets the second. Colin Howe picks up third place. Sam Morby is in four. Dean Garrett in five. Penn Smith in six. Bill Hadfield in seventh. Race four, first heat of the 250s, a win for 181 Mark Evans. Second number 64, Rob Bradley. And third number 34, Colin Howe. 28, 12, 32, 7, and 47. Race 5, 350, elite 59, 58, 2, and 39. They're away the first heat of the 350 action and it looks like number 5 Matt Evans who makes the Ben Morby making the move round the outside and it is uh, Ben Morby leads from Matt Edrington in second place. Rob Robert Thomas has got the third place and Michael Fertle in fourth. That's the Eurotters. They go in the back straight so no Nick Beasley come out for this seat of the 350s. Ben Morby leads into that pitch corner on the opening lap then. But Matt Edrington in second place Bishop. Morby leads it then. Ben Edrington in second. Then two Number 16, Robert Thomas in third, Michael Fertle is in fourth place. Down the back straight they go once again, and Ben Morby starting to build a lead, then over Matt Edrington in that second place position. He's still a long way here of Robert Thomas in third, with Michael Fertle in fourth place. Into the pits corner once again, the gap the same between first and second place. It's still Ben Morby, right in the minority, he's completely that one. Matt Edmonton, trying to close the gap there in second place. The gap increases between second and third, but still Thomas in third, and Thirtle in fourth place. Then the back straight then goes to the leader, Ben Morby takes a look over his shoulder, see where second place man is, that's still Matt Edmonton, rider number five, as they go into the pits corner on lap number three then. And the leader's about to start lap forward, that's all left in the minority, Ben Morby. Two of Matt Edmonton in second place, they're going to lap the fourth place rider, Michael Thirtle, as they go into that top corner on lap number four. Third place rider Robert Thomas at that pits end, so quite a bit between third, and looks like Matt Edmonton's got problems while holding that second place position, he should get a coach to them to get the second place from there, as rider number 90, Ben Morby. Comes to take the checkered flag in race number five, Ben Morby wins it. Matt Edrington coasting home, rider number five in the second place position. Uh, Matt Edrington number five picks up second place. Third should be number 16, Robert Thomas. And fourth, number nine, Michael Fertle. Race five, a win for number 90, Ben Morby. Second, number five, Matt Etherington. And third, number 16, Robert Thomas. Fourth, number nine. Race six, delete 214, 
Michael Wilson. Solos and looks like Lee Gaiden, no, Dave Mayer, in fact, there are the Lee Gaiden, second Terry Mack, and then two, Alan Cruz and two, that's the top four, Michael Gaiden in fifth place, they go down that back stroke for the first time, it's Dave Mayer's who leads them, but Lee Gaiden second, Alan Cruz making the move around the outside, gets around the outs of Lee Gaiden, but Lee Gaiden retakes that second place, Terry Massacre, trying to go through into that third place position, and somebody else making the move there back in fifth place as a leader is still Dave Mears. The Lee Gaiden trying to close the gap there in second place. Mears losing. Lee Gaiden in second. He's in third. Number four, Chris Watts goes through the four. For Terry Massingham in five. Michael Gosling in six. Number ten, Joe's men in seven. That's the seven. As it is still Dave Mears then. Clear into that pitch corner from Lee Gaiden in second place. They start to get a bit spread now in race number six. Second heat of the three fifties. Dave Mears looks behind him, Lee Gaiden is just in front of him, there, second place, Dave Mears putting all of the experience to play, all of the inside line, Lee Gaiden attacking right round the edge, on that top gun, a few songs of third. It's still number 12 by Chris Potts in four, with Terry Matthew in five, Michael Gosling in six, with Joe's Moon in seven, we look at the leading two into that pitch corner, again Lee Gaiden the same distance behind the race leader, Dave Mears, they move on to four this time, and Mears leads it, Dave Mears is starting to move, into the top corner once again, Mears on the inside line, again Lee Gaiden goes wide, cuts back for the inside run on the exit from that corner. It's still Watts holding the third place, and Massingham in four, he's dropped back to five, Goslin six, Moon in seven, the leader Dave Mears at the pit span for the final time in race number six. Dave Mears picks up the race winner this season of 350, Lee Gaiden gets the second place position. We're looking for number 12, Chris Watts to come across the line in third. Terry Massingham now moves up to the fourth place. Oh, and Alan Cruz has dropped it while holding the fifth spot. Can he get to, to his feet and get the bike over the line? He's uh, trying to get the bike going again. Michael Goldwyn comes across the line in, in fifth place, followed by number 10, James Moon. Race six, another heat of the 350s, win for number 19, Dave Mia. Second, 116, Lee Gaiden. And third, number 12, Chris Watts. 213, 24, 10, and 36. Race seven, delete number 83, is place taken by number two, Craig Smith. That's Tom Marble, the pitch crew of Fred Skinner. Please tell Tom Marble to go and sign on immediately. He's coming for that practice. Thank you. Martin Sturgeon trying to get through on the inside, moving that back straight once again. Spate leads it and Sturgeon there in second place. Looks like Lee gone through in the third. Craig Smith trying to work his way through the third, has gone through into fifth place and looking at fourth place of Paul Abbott. It's up the uh, lead now as David Spate is the leader then. That's the top six, they made the way to the back straight once again. Martin Sturgeon, down the place of 
that bang baby today as they drive in the back straight once again they're already in the months of that mark as they hurdle in that foot's corner on a lap number two Spate leads it and Sturgeon in second Spate takes a tight line Martin Sturgeon in three tight lines Steve Lewis got the third place and this one's in fourth Grace to be fine that's the top line as they go down the back straight once again the leader is still David Spate then Martin Sturgeon pushing hard in second place Steve Lee's got the third Beach Street pulling away from Scott Billison in fourth with Grace within five as leader David Spate in and out of that pitch corner David Spate gets the one in line Martin Spears is up to second place, he's been linked in third. Scott Felison is in fourth. Craig Smith is in five. We look back for the six and seven place riders. Number 14 comes across the line in six, followed by... And David Stone gets the winning rider. Martin Spears in second, Steve Lee is in third. Look back for Scott Bunderson in fourth place. Coach Smith is in five. Seven is on to win for number 82, David Spade. Second number 15, Martin Sturgeon. And third number 93, Steve Lee. We'll end with race number eight. We'll come back then to race number seven is on. They get away then with race number eight. For that top corner one pin, they're in for Gary Hickmott. Goes to in the second place. He now goes into the leading position, going in the back straight. For the first time, pin they'll lead you. From Priest holding that second place position. That's the top two as they go. Down the back straight on the open lap. Then they're building a good lead then from uh, Priest holding the second place. Somebody making a move for the second place of John Priest. They're going really wide on the opposite from that corner. Then they're leading it from Priest in second. They're going to build on for the that's John Yeldon has gone through into that fourth place position. That's the top three, and Pinlow building a good lead to front. Still Priest holds that second place. Dave Durham trying to close the gap in third. They start to spread out now as they go down the back straight once again in race number eight. It is still Rob Pinlow with a good lead. Comes on first and second. Dave Durham now just in the lead. He's going to do that race for second and third places. He's still pulling the race for second. He's got the fourth. He's going to be five. Tommy Crew in six. Thomas is in seven. And the, look at that scrap for second and third. John Cruz just hanging on to that. As they go dive into that pitch corner once again. And Dave Durham gets through the second place. And the race leader, who is Rob Pinlow, drops it on that pitch corner. And that allows Dave Durham to pick up the winning ride. Second place goes to John Cruz. A wide riding, Dave Yeldon picks up the third place position with Dean Garrett in four, Tommy Crew in five, Thomas is in six. And number 21, Carl Morse finishes in seventh place. So, as they come across the line then, it's Dave Brown that wins it for John Priest in second place. Dean Garrett now goes through into third, the Yeldham in fourth, Thomas up to five, crew in sixth place. Result of race number eight, then a win for four, seven, one, that's Dave Durham. Second number five, John Priest, and third number twelve, Dean Garrett. Forty-six, one eight six, eighteen, and twenty-one, the previous race. The win for 82, David Spain. Second number 15, Martin Sturgeon. And third number 93, Steve Lee. Six, two. We'll come back to that one after race number nine. The first heat of the upright. He's running on time as he's ripping through going in. That top corner of West Coast has got the second place in Chesley Megan the move on the inside of Dudley. It's Dudley Lee coming off that top corner and goes in the back straight for the first time. It's Dudley, it's uh, Richard leads it from Chesby in second place position. They move into the pits corner for the first time in heat number nine, the first heat of the upright class. Ian Goodrich taking a wide on the exit from that pits corner West Sheesby goes through on the inside. Chesley leads it from Chesby to Eddie Rankin on through in the third place. With number 432, Arnie Fenner holds the fourth place position. You've got um, 
she saw the John Hartley back in fifth place as she's released going in the back straight somebody making a big move Eddie Race making a big move to go through into that second place Bishop relegating Ian Goodfish to third as it is 616 West she's with the race leader as they complete that one then from uh, Eddie Race they've gone through into second place it's from the third and on from it fourth place John Hartley is in five that's still the top five as we see the race leader, the West Sheep is on clear going down that back foot. It's starting to bunch of four, second and third place is still there. Eddie Rose holds that second place and Ian Godfrey is now dropped back to his arm. He goes from the third, Ian Godfrey in four. It's John Hartley in five as West Sheep is looking on the last lap this time then. From still Eddie Rose holds the second, then has gone to the third. It's John Hartley on to the fourth. Ian Godfrey now drops back to five, that's still the top five. They bunch up for second, third and fourth place in there. John Hartley's gone through into that third place as a race leader as West Sheep is going into the pits corner for the final time in race number nine. Where Shrewsbury picks up the race win in race number nine. It'll be tight for second and third places. It is still just Eddie Rose who gets the second from John Hartley in third. Arnie Fenner is in fourth. Ian Goodridge in five. Number 28 followed by 364 Dave Needham. Race 9 result to win for 616 West Cheeseby. Second number 78, Eddie Rouse. And third number 47, John Hartley. 32, 174, 28, 364, 157. Back to that race 7 again. 82, 15, 93, 6, 2, 73, 47. 102. On to race 10, adding 63, Les Rowlands, and 35, Jeremy Best, and delete number 63. Somebody with machine problems there before we move on to race 10, the uh, second leg of the upright class. Race number 10, everybody gets away to a clean break, and it looks like number 57, Barry Joyce, has got a little bit come by a first time. It's uh, 37, Alan Pensman has gone through into second place. So they pick their way down there into that top corner and go to the back straight. Change of position for the first two places. As the leading head halfway down that back straight on a lap number one. Coming under pressure as he goes into the uh, pits corner. We pick them out as they come back into view then after completing lap one of race number 10. And it's number 30, uh, 37, Alan Pensmith will lead it from uh, Barry Joyce come back through on the inside. Joyce gets on the inside, Pensmith trying to get back round the outside. Good action between these two is still Pensmith on the inside. Joyce round the outside, so going back straight once again. These two have got the bike between them, the third place rider definitely taking close as they move into the pitch corner once again. Bunching up for first, second and third place in the first heat, second heat of this upright class. They all go wide, Pensford almost in trouble on the exit from that pitch corner. That's allowed number one, five, two, Alan Ellis, Alan Ellis, Alvis Bailey is released going in that top one. Pensford holds the second place position. It's Alvis Bell then clear going in the back straight on lap number two again. He comes under pressure for that to second place from uh, front rider number 37. Alan Pensford holding that second place. Six and in 104, that's uh, John Hughes crossing the line. Again, the leader going wide, coming off that pitch corner. Last lap flag is made ready then. And Pensford will the lead again from Alan Alvis Bale in second place. It's 57 Barry Jones holding the third. 63, that's Les Rowlands, is in fourth place. That's the top four as they go in the back straight for the final time then. It's still uh, Pensford the lead, but Alan Alvis Bale holding that second place. Going into the pits corner for the final time already in amongst the back markers in this race number 10. All in the second place, Ryder drops it on the exit from that pits corner and is interfered with Pensford. Maybe they'll take his chain off there. Number 57, Barry Bridge gets the one in line. He's followed by 63. 37 just comes across the line in third. Looks if Alan Albers Bell is going to push it across to pick up some points out of this one. As number 13 comes across the line in fourth place, Ben Leeds. And it's going to be a long, a slow push there for uh, Aaron Alvis Bell to pick up fifth place in this race number 10. Little applause 
there for Alan Aldis there. He's fallen and uh, pushed across the line there for fifth place. Race 10 was on to win for number 57, Barry Joyce. Second, number 63, Les Rowlands. And third, number 37, Alan Fenn Smith. 13, 152. All oh, six out, now ready then for this first heat of the big chairs. Usually by a tremendous display on this talented track, Bob Mazzaro, but the starting is maybe I'll be Paul White, then that's got to problems down the start line for this uh, race number 12. has got the third place that's the top prison moving that top corner for the first time Colin Blackburn and Paul Whiteland Junior Moody Paul Whiteland goes strong into Reg Blackburn to go for the second place Colin Blackburn the second place Colin Blackburn is in five Chris Spars in six after six they move up the back straight once again then it is Colin Blackburn leads with Paul Whiteland trying to close the gap in second place they're still pulling away from Stad Blind who's got the third place it's Reg Blackburn still in fourth and Fred's going to try and get thrown into Reg Blackburn goes through in the fourth place as Colin Blackburn is still being Second place, Step Blackburn is in fourth. Edge Blackburn getting back to third. Step Blackburn is in second. And Edge 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 Blackburn is in second. Step Blackburn is in third. Edge Blackburn is in third. Chris Blackburn is in third. Edge Blackburn is in third. As we said at the start of the programme, Colin Blackburn does not want to collect his points. He just wants to go out there and have a ride and enjoy himself. So the official result, the official result of race 12 is a win for number 92, Paul Whiteland and Alan Elliott. Second, number 30, Step Bly and Jason Gill. And third, 2 to 8, Fred Skinner and Tom Marvel. Six and 26. Race 13, Peter Lloyd will be number four with Nick Wilson in the chair and uh, Paul Whiteland Jr. will now drive outfit 192 with Colin Blackbourne in the chair. Race 13 then coming into line then, number eight of a thousand side cars. It's across the line then for race 13. race did he go in the back straight for the first time looks like uh, Colin Parler has gone through the second place to change the position for that second place so pick them out as they come into view for the first time which already Red Bradley and Sean so Simpson has got a big lead he's probably going to have gone through into the second place this is back to the back straight once again it's Red Bradley and Sean Simpson building a good lead then it's still in Red Bindabin trying to close the gap there in second place. They're coming under pressure from Paul Whiteland Jr. with Colin Blackburn on the chair holding in third place. Red Bradley with a big lead then. Can put him up there in two. It's still Red Bindabin in second. Paul Whiteland Jr. in third place. Red Bradley in second. Paul Whiteland Jr. in third 
Second place pushing, Rodman Jr. is still in third, we've lost Peter Lodard and they're holding in fourth place pushing, they start the spread now in race number 13 as Rodman is holding the last of Jumping, leads it on to last lap for Winterburn holding that second, it's Peter Rodman Jr. in third, Foster's gone for the four, Colin Pardo in five, up the back straight, 30 for the time, Rodman and Sean Simpson are half a length of the straight clear, Rodman goes Winterburn in second, Paul Rodman Jr. and Colin Blackburn definitely close the gap in third, as number 87, Red Bradley picks up an impressive race win. Red Bradley wins it. Second place goes to Rob Winterburn. It looks as like if Paul Walton Jr. has got problems while holding that third place. They've come to a stop upon that top corner. I think they're going to try and push it on to pick up some points. It looks like Paul Preston comes across the line in third, followed by Colin Pardo in fourth. And Paul Whiteland Jr. And Colin Blackmore going to push for our points, outfit number 192. So, a long push there for Paul Whiteland Jr. and uh, Colin Blackburn to pick up the fifth place points there in race number 13. Race 13 result, a win for number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Second number 48, Rob and Gareth Winterburn. And third number 49, Paul Prest and Stuart Ramsey. 16, 192. We should now be moving back to race 11, first heat of the 500 sidecars. Coming back to the line end for race number 11, the uh, hit first race of the final good side cars. Well, he got a very good start, Tony Cook is the outfit to long side him, Andy Carras and Aldi, third place, a third place, and they'll come by us up there. Bennett goes to the sweep, round the outside, Bennett holds that fourth place, Bishop Barrow Bennett makes a big sweep round the outside of that top corner, Tony Cook tucks him to the second place, Beast is pulling away from Andy Carrison in third, they're moving the back straight, there's a break between Barrow Bennett and Tony Cook as they're moving that top corner, one to one, Barrow Bennett holds the inside, Tony Cook trying to force away through on the inside, super action between these two and Cook's got through on the inside, as Cook reaches in front of Carver and Cook, that's the that's back straight once again. Tony Cook leads it then. From Barry Bunny in second, Andy Carrison definitely getting close in third as I say that. He loses a bit of momentum coming up that top corner. There's Tony Cook still clear going into that pitch corner. Barry Bunny trying to close the gap there in second place. It's still Carrison in third. So it's going for Cunning in Brian Cook is up in second place. He's definitely pulling away. Brian Cook is going for Brian Cook. Gets close in five. Dave Carvel is in six to go. Down the back straight for the final bump for the third time. They start the spread out a little bit now in this heat of the 500 chairs. It's Tony Cook who now starts to dominate race number 11 from Barry Bennett. Pushing on the top Place. It's Andy Carrison with a third place. Brian Cunningham carries those carbon and six. Tony Cook down the back straight. Richard Fulham in the chair from Barry Bennett. Ivan Hughes holds that second place. It's Andy Carrison and Natasha Barker holding in third place position. So it's room for number 10. Tony Cook in race number 11. Andy Carrison comes across the line in third. Brian Cunningham in fourth, Brian Canning in five, and Dave Carvel in sixth place. Race 11 result then, the win for number 10, Tony Cook and Richard Fillimore. Second number 7, Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes. And third number 8, Andy Carrison and Natasha Barclay. 44, 49, and 55. We move forward now to race 14, delete number 54, delete 174, add in number 2, Frank Yates, number 12, Nigel Newman, and number 11, 
Maurice Jones. Morris Jones making a good start, but Nigel Norman has a leader coming to view the first time. Morris Jones is coming. John Shamble in four, Gary Finlow is in four, they need him in five, Frank Yates in six, that for six. As they go to the back straight for the first time, it is uh, Nigel Norman with a good lead. As they go to that back straight, you can see John Shamble on his top through into that fourth place. Looks like Gary Finlow gone through in the third with Morris uh, Jones holding the third place position in this race number 14. Nigel Norman is the race leader. Gary Finlow has got the second, Morris Jones in third. John Salmon on in four, they need on two in five. Dave Meadows in six, that's a six. They go in the back straight once again. It's Nigel Newman building a good lead then from So Gary Finlow holding that second place. Morris Jones there coming under pressure for that third from John Salmon in fourth. They need him in five. Dave Meadows in six, that's a six. As a leader, Nigel Newman continues to increase the lead at front. Still a good race going on for the minor places. Newman leads it. Then low in second. It's Jones in third. Salmon on in four. Medium drops back in five, Meadows in six, Morris Jones now comes under pressure for that third place and John Chalmadon's gone right on the outside of Morris Jones to go through into third place and looking for that second place of Gary Finlow, good ride by John Chalmadon, he's picked up two places in second place, Harper in the back straight, Finlow again trying to come back round the outside of Chalmadon. As is number 12, Nigel Newman, and moves him on to that fourth, and Finlow just holding that second place, Shalmadon again, gets back to the lead, takes that second, Finlow again, trying to get back there, the outside, good action with second and third, Morris Jones getting closer, in fourth place, he's second and third place, Riders right, locked the back marker, going down the back straight, as Nigel Newman continues to dominate the front, it's still Finlow in second, and Shalmadon in third, Jones is in fourth, Needham in five, Meadows in six. race to the Nigel Newman, clear, coming out of that pits corner, in race to the third, Nigel Newman gets the winning ride. Gary Finlow comes across the line in second. John Charmadon in third. Morris Jones in fourth. Dave Needham in fifth place. Dave Meadows takes the sixth place position. Race 14 results. A win for number 12, Nigel Newman. Second number 6, Gary Finlow. And third number 42, John Charmadine. 11. 364. 105. Right, we revert back then to the under 21 championship race number 15. We've got Lewis Tenham had a winning ride in his first ride. Tim Nose picked up a winning ride in his first outing as well. So it should be another fascinating clash in race number 15. Outside gate makes a good start. Tim Nobbs is the rider. Goes over the second. Tim Nobbs also has a canvas to go through. In the second place, it's Dylan Lee's going down the back straight for the first time. It's Nobbs who goes to the second place. Rider follows Tim Nobbs with a move through the third. Will he get his Scott Campus to four? They go down the back straight once again. It's Lewis Dylan Lee's Tim Nobbs trying to close the gap. Spectacular action with these two youngsters coming down that fifth corner. It's Nobbs has gone to a third, Scott Campbell is going to go very good five, Paul Jones in six, that's the top six, they go to the back show once again, Dunham slowly but surely is pulling away from Nobbs to go, into that pitch corner once again, Red Mercer holds in third place, Scott Campbell has got the fourth, Paul Jones in five, Paul Jones in six, he's got the race winner coming is going to be Paul Derrick, 6 Dave Rollins, 7th Rory Cabell, 
waiting for the 8th and 9th waters to come into view. That is Mark Richardson. And the final rider across the line is number 14, Stuart Meir. Race 15 resolved to win to number 81, Lewis Denham. Maximum points on his opening two rides. Second number two, Tim Nobes. And third, 151, Rob Meir. 178. 117, 887, 36, 18, and 14. Race 16, delete number 4, Jack Roberts. We've got to Steve Brayford, impressive winner first time out. Jamie Rogers picked up a second place in his first ride. And Charlie Saunders also picked up a second place in his first outing. Second, number 25, Charlie Saunders. And third, number 24, Adam Fulmer. 144, 68, and 37. Into the line for race 17, the 30 to the second leg of the under 21 championship. Stephen Taylor making a good start, but he's not, he's just about the leader to come by. Thomas Cooper picks up a third place, goes through in the second place, he moves out of Andrew Mellish. As Stephen Taylor leads him down the back straight for the first time, it's Thomas Cooper in second, Andrew Mellish. Holmes in third place, Bishop Martin Raffles in fourth place, up the top four as they move into the pitch corner on the opening lap of race number 17. It's still Stephen Taylor with the danger and uh, Andrew Manish is just in the hands of the first place. Thomas Cooper is second, Martin Duffy's gone to the third. Manish comes to the fourth. Number 13 is in fifth place. That's Bill Watts in five. They go down the back straight once again. Andrew Manish quickly to his feet. He's okay after dropping it. We'll hold him up. Third place, Bishop Stephen Taylor leads it, but Thomas Cooper is definitely close. The gap in second place. Spectacular action between these two. As they come out of that pitch corner, Taylor leads it to Cooper. Taylor close the gap in second. Taylor takes a wide line. Cooper takes a much higher one and throws the gap in the middle. Third, with Mallet in fourth, they've got to be in five, and the Eva going sixth, they're going to back straight once again, Jack Meredith, Holty seventh place, and Thomas Cooper again, trying to peg back the ground, on Stephen Taylor, one goes wide, one comes back to the
Thomas is through the get soon. On the end of Stephen Terry, that's the man to the neck, that's corner. It's Cooper Lee's there, but David is second, it's Rob Lee's the third. Manny took the fourth place, Rob's in five. Whitaker in six, that's still the top six. It's Thomas Cooper Lee's in the pitch corner, 40. Final time running, race number 17, Thomas Cooper pitch up the winning run. Thomas Cooper Lee's in the pitch corner, Rob Lee's in the second, it's Rob Lee's the third. Manny took the fourth place, Rob's even Taylor gets his second place position. It's desperately tied the third and fourth. Tremendous race between these two. Nick Nick Mullet's gone wide. Martin Ruffle coming back to the inside. Nick Mullet just about keeps on the track to get the third. From Martin Ruffle in fourth. Roberts is in five. Andrew Whitaker in six. And Jack Meredith in seventh place. Holding the result of race 17 for just a second because on the line for race number 18, the uh, 250 second leg, Colin Harris number 34, the delete number 42, Rob Bradley will be riding number 64. Red flag to aim, in fact, the result of race number 17, the rider over on that far side of the track. So the result of race 17, the win for 153, Thomas Cooper. Second number 23, Stephen Taylor. A warning to both those riders. Please go to the track. The running up on four race 18, the second leg of the 250 solos. There we go, Colin Hale making a good start. Rob Dudley has gone down the over. Rob Dudley is going to have a second in third place. Dean Gull's gone four and a four, that's a top four. Chris Archer in fifth place. Sam Morby's in sixth, that's a top six. They're going to that straight. For the first time then, Rob Bradley is a race leader from Colin Owen in second. He's still pulling away from Mark Evans in third. Dean Owen in four. Looks like Ben Smith comes from the five of Sam Morby in six. Colin Owen on the tail of Rob Bradley now as they complete this step. Open lap then. Bradley is with him. Owen in second place. Evans is up the door. Down in third. Number 32. Jenny Fensmith is in five and on the shoulder of Dean Dowdy. There he goes through back in the fourth place. Sam Morby trying to pull him round the edge of Dean Dowdy with that fifth place pushing. As Rob Bradley still leads him and how hard in that second place. He's still on with Cleo Adams in third. Fensmith in four. Going in five. Morby in six but still Bradley with a slight advantage in over how as they complete their lap. Evans consolidates the third of three across the four. Sam Morby now goes to the fifth. Pence for the sixth and Sam Morby round the edge of Dean Dowdy to go through in the fourth place. Well, Rob Bradley still leads it with Colin Owen trying to close the gap in second place. Mark Evans consolidates the third. Sam Morby's up the four. Dean Dowdy in five. Ben Smith in six as leader. Rob Bradley on to four then. Clear as Colin Owen still there in second place. Still Mark Evans holds the third. Then Sam Morby in four. Dean Dowdy in five. Ben Smith the top six, they go in the back straight once, going them into the back markers. All the leaders will take the two fifty. Rob well Bradley works his way around the edge to win there. They're on the outside of the middle line. To still have that lead going into that pitch corner on the lap number four of race number 18. It is 64. Rob well Bradley that wins his second heat for two fifties. Colin Hayes gets his second place. Mark Evans picks up the third. Sam Morby is in fourth. And Smith in five. Dean Garrett in six. Chris Archer comes across the line in 7th place. On the line then for race number 19, we haven't quite got the result ready for race number 18. Delete number 2, Craig Smith and race number 19 as they come by for the third time. Down in the in the in the That's the top four with number 12. Chris Watts in fifth place, they go in the back straight for the first time, it's Ben Morby leads in from Dave Mears in second place, Terry Maskin's got the third, Aaron is in fourth place, Watts comes to a stop while holding that fifth place position, Lee Gaiden is pulled out of the meeting with Burt Lee for back problems, so Ben Morby leads in the and the top corner, which is the two 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 the on the inside, Neil Gaither and Neil being second, it's still Pease in third, with Massingham in four, that's in five, and what's that stop at the front, they're going to that straight once again, still Dave Neil with the run again, but Ben Neil in second place, they go into the pitch corner.
and still Dave Mears and slowly but surely pulling away from Ben Morby and it's good through good through at Chin Race number 19 they go out to that in second, P's in third, Massingham in four, Watts in five, that's still the top five as the leader, half of them the back straight, Paul D come on time, Cruz is leader of the time over Ben Moore, who can follow them, that second place, Aaron P's in third, Terry Massingham in four, Chris Watts is in five, and this rider number 19, Dave Mears, who picks up another impressive heat from the hundred and fifty. Second second place goes to number 90, Ben Moore, Aaron P still holds on to that third place while in number 36, change of position with fourth place as Aaron P has come across the line in third, Chris Watts has gone through into fourth place, well again in Terry Massingham to five, and the last one across the line should be number 16, Robert Thomas. Race 19, the win for number 19, Dave Mears. Second number 90, Ben Morby. And third, number 36, Aaron Pease. 12, 213, and 16. Back to race 18, second leg of the two fifties, who went for number 64, Rob Bradley. Second, number 34, Colin Howe. And third, 181, Mark Evans. 28, 32, 12, 14, 7 and 47. Race 20, delete number 39, delete 58, 239 and 214. Number 20, another heat of the 350. We just got the three starters and this from this match. Everyone's going to lead from the, number 10, James Moon in second. Number 9, Michael Fertle is in third place. And then what's happened to John Hart? He's not come out for this second leg of the 350s. They go in the back straight for the first time. Matt Everington leads it then from James Moon in second place. It's Michael Fertle holding the third place position. Coming out of that tough. It's from then for the first time in Matt Edwards in the clear lead from James Moon's full there in second. It's Michael Thurber in third place. Down the back straight then goes your race leader and really spread out down the race to the front. It's Matt Edwards in clear then from Moon in second. It's Thurber in third. The race leader then is number five, Matt Edwards. Completes lap two, increasingly number five over James Moon in second, with number nine, Michael Third are still there in third place. You see Edmonton entering that top corner as Moon comes out of the pit corner. Down the back straight then goes Matt Edmonton coasting down that back straight, but still with a big lead over number ten, James Moon. But number nine, Michael Third in third place. This is Matt Edmonton comes out of that pit span about to start a lap for this time looking for maximum points of race number 20 still James Moon in second with Michael Thurtle in third leader again Matt Edwin and coasting down that back straight as James Moon moves on to lap four this time number nine Michael Thurtle exiting that pits corner and about to take the last lap flag for third place in race number 20 as Matt Edwin said Coasting round at the front, takes a look behind him, looks back again, and Matt Everington wins race number 20. It's going to be number 10, James Moon, in second, with number 9, Michael Thirtle, should pick up the third place position. Right, a win for number 5, second number 10, and third number 9. Race 21, delete number 83 for Ashcroft, putting number 2, Craig Smith.
21 that takes for him for the absent Palaskoff, and it is uh, number 46 from Yeldon, and he's on the top of Craigsmith, second place from Paul Evans, going through the third, Thomas trying to work his way through as well as they go, down the back straight for the first time, Yeldon leads it then from Craigsmith, holding that second place position, Paul Evans has got the third, as a Craigsmith dies through, on the instant for John Yeldon to lead going in the pit corner, on the other lap, Craigsmith goes wide, Yeldon holds a much tighter line, Craigsmith using every inch to track at the moment, Yeldon is the lead, Craigsmith in the back straight once again, Craigsmith still leads it then from uh, Yalda in second place, change of position, Paul Evans coming under pressure there for that third place, but he still holds that third place. As the leader then is Craigsmith, completing lap number two then. Right on the second place, Evans is Relegated to the board, Thomas and Tommy Cruz dropping it out for those fifth and sixth places. Craigsmith starts to pull around the front, then from John Yolden in second, is now coming under pressure from Scott Finlayson for that second place. Scott Finlayson looking for second place of John Yolden as they dive into the pitch corner once again. That's now in Craigsmith to pull away the front in race number 21. Smith leads him on the four, and Finlayson John Cruz in second. Yolden drops back to third. It's Edison four, Cruz in five. Lost Thomas who was holding that sixth place distance, Craigsmith clear, going down the back straight once again into the pit score and he goes for the final time in race number 21. It is Craigsmith that picks up the winning line in race number 21. Scott Finlayson gets the second place position. To be tied to third in fourth, John Yeldon gets the third. Paul Evans is in fourth. And at number 21, Carmel finishing in sixth place. Race 21 then, a win for number 2, Craig Smith. Second, number 6, Scott Finlayson. And third, number 46, John Yeldon. 106. 18. 21. And 47. Race 22, delete number 7, Gareth Hickmock. Put in number 30, Rob Finlow. Solo, Steve Lee making a good start, Martin Storch is very, very modest. Steve Lee, you put a jump boost in five, being down in six, up the top of the stream. Down the back straight for the first time, Storch and Lee, you've in second, Spate is in third, Lee is in fourth, and Lee goes through into some Spate to go through into that third place position. Priest holds his fifth spot with Dean Garrett in six, up the top six as Martin Storch in impressive third place. It's a final of the third with last city, Lee. Garrett in second, Lee's up the third, Spates in four, Reese in five, Garrett in six, Finlow in seven, that's the seven with Michael Watson in eighth place, the leader Martin Sturgeon, well clear, going down that back straight. Increasingly the time of the day, Burma still holds that second place, which is a complete lap through, and it's Martin Sturgeon the good lead then from the day, Burma in second, Third place, David's close to the second place, John Priest is in five, Finlow goes into six, Garrett drops back to seven, as Martin Sturgeon well clear, into that pitch corner on lap number three then, it's still Dave Durham consolidating that second place, Steve Lee trying to close the gap there in third, as Sturgeon leads him on the four then, from Durham still there in second, Lee in third, making four, Priest in five, that's still the top five there, Finlow in six, Garrett in seven, we should have either then going in the back straight for the pull time, it's Martin Sturgeon, well clear, into that pitch corner, it's tremendously down, Steve Lee, definitely starting to close up on Dave Durham, that race for second in third, as Martin Sturgeon gets the winning line, a wide riding Dave Durham, hands on to that second place position, Steve Lee gets the third, David Spade is in four, Bob Finlow in five, Dean Garrett in six. Michael Watson in seven. And 102 in eighth place. Race 22 result to win for number 15, Martin Sturgeon.
second number 471 David Durham and third number 93 Steve Lee 82 13 12 73 102 move on then to race number 23 Solos and as they come by the first time in June, good to leave for that one. Arthur Sellers got the gun over in fourth place. Needham is in fourth place. That's the top four. Jerry Best trying to get thrown into Ian Guthridge, but Guthridge got that quicker line on the exit from the top men. Guthridge leads, but Best in second. Albus Bale is in third. Needham is in fourth. Looking for that third place of Aaron Albus Bale to go down the back straight once again. Needham goes through in the third place. Albus Bale is relegated to four. As Ian Guthridge is still the leader, then again Jeremy Best trying to find a low throw on the inside of Guthridge, just that quicker line, he leads it from Best in second, on the stall in third, Needham is in fourth, 57, Barry Joyce is in five, that's the top five. And down the back straight they go once again, start to spread out now in race number 23, as Ian Guthridge into that pits corner. Well clear of Jeremy Best in second, it's Alvis Bell holding the third, but Needham in fourth place. Got to lose the three left to it, but Bester there in second. A wide running Alvis Bell holds the third, with Needham in fourth place, Bruce is in five. Number 28 Michael Clark is in sixth position, that's the six. The leader, after then that back straight on lap number three. It's still Ian Guthridge and about to lap one of the back markers as he exits that to Pitts Corner. The last lap flag being there ready for number 174, Ian Guthridge. Well clear at the front of him. Jeremy Best in second, Dave Needham still holds that third. Best goes into that top corner in second place, Needham has got the third. 57, Barry Joyce has gone through the four, Alvis Bell now drops back to five as leader Ian Guthridge into the fifth corner for the final time in race number 23. It's 174 Ian Guthridge that wins race number 23. Jeremy Best is going to come across the line in second place. Dave Needham is in third, Lee Joyce is in fourth, 28, Michael York in five, and then number 13. Race 23 result, a win for 174, Ian Gutteridge. Second number 35, that's Jeremy Best, and third, 364, Dave Needham. 57, 28, 13, 105. Race 24, delete number 63, Carl Russian, win number 63, Les Rowland. Of the up points, Eddie Rose looking to make a good start, but in third place, and Arnie Penelope, Eddie Rose in second in the fifth That's uh, Rowland's gone through into the third place, but it looks like uh, John Hart has made a big move around the outside and comes out of that top corner in first place. He's lost that first place, going well on the exit. Eddie Rose now moves through into the third place, but will pick the lead right now as they go in that pitch corner for the first time. Coming by us to complete the opening lap is number 34, Arnie Penelope. John Hart in second, Eddie Rouse in third, Les Rouse in fourth, 63. Les Rollins in five, that's the five as they go in the back straight once again. John Hart in second place, coming under pressure now from Eddie Rouse. They move into the pits corner once again, bunching up for second and third places. Wes Sheesby also taking close order in, in that fourth place position. And it's still Arnie Penelope in second. It's 1.2 holding that fifth place. 
Then the back straight then goes to Racing at Arnie Pennant. Eddie Rose definitely getting close in second. Eddie Rose goes straight on the inside of Arnie Pennant to lead. Going into that pitch corner on lap number three. Pennant again trying to come back round the outside. Rose on the inside. Pennant making the move round the outside line. Cheesley gets close in third. As Rose moves on the forward. And Pennant in second. It's Cheesley in third place. Hartley is in fourth. 5-7, Sam Joyce holds the fifth place, going in the back straight, for the Pomo Thomas to Eddie Rose, the leader then, from Arnie Thunder in second, West Shoes be definitely getting close in third place, looking back second place of Arnie Thunder as Eddie Rose leads into the pitch corner for the Pomo Thomas in race number 24, it's Eddie Rose who gets the winning ride, and West Shoes is going from the second, Arnie Thunder gets the third, John Hartley is in four, 1.7, Sam Joyce in five, and that's all the finishes there for race number 24. Race 24, a win for number 78, Eddie Rouse. Second, 616, Wes Shoesby. And third, number 32, Arnie Fenner. 47, 157. Race 25 then, second leg of the 500 sidecars, then to get the Glenn and the Paris and the Castle Park, they come in as reserves for the uh, injured Alan Moore, who's Barry Bennett, makes a good start, he's ready to come down for the third time. And we've got no Brian Canning come out this time, so just the five runners that go in the back straight for the first time, it's Barry Bennett and I've been losing leader from Gary South getting in second place. Andy Carrison holds a third, Tony Cook trying to hunt them down in fourth place. They move through then to complete the opening lap, it is Barry Bennett the late race, it is Barry Bennett the second now looking at second place in for Gareth South, there you go, down the back straight, well, for the second time, this is the main action is for second and third, and Tony Cook's on the shoulder of Gary South, go these two left together, going into that pitch corner, Tony Cook makes a move round the outside to go through, in the second place, as Barry Bennett and Ivan Reed lead it then, from Tony Cook, and this is the more in second place, it's Gary Place again in the back straight once again. Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes are starting to pull away the front. Tony Cook trying to close the gap there in second place. Gary Southgate grimly hanging on to that third place position as they make their way down the back straight once again. Crucial points coming away of Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes. Open number seven, the last back flag at them as they're moving on to two. Tony Cook, he's closing up in second place. An awful lot to do. Andy Carrison in the sixth point, we're holding that to fifth place position that's locked together for second and third, and again a move there by Dave Carver around the edge of Gary Southgate to go through in the third place as the leader Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes exit that pitch corner on a lap number four of race number 25. It's Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes are getting one in line. Second place goes to Tony Cook. It's going to be tied for third, Dave Carver pushing the third. Gary Southgate in fourth place, and just the four finishes in race number 25. Race 25 result, a win for number 7, Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes. Second, number 10, Tony Cook and Richard Fillimore. And third, number 55, Dave Carville and Michael Clark. Fourth, number 44. Terrific scrap between uh, Paul Whiteman and uh, Colin Blackburn in the last time they uh, raced in the heats. Mm -hmm. Lloyd went out with machine problems, so obviously you know to get some points now in this uh, second leg of the 1060 sidecars. Looking across the far side of the track then for race number 26. Almost a complete stop there, and that's now Colin Blackmore to go through, and he's been pressed hard by Paul Whiteland there in second place. Looks like Colin Pardo's got the third, that's the top three as they go into the pit score and the top corner for the first time again. Peter Lloyd right at the back of the moment. There's Colin Blackmore leading and Paul Whiteland. back in sixth place as Colin Blackmore leads going up that back straight once again. It's Paul Whiteland trying to close the gap there in second place. He's still pulling away. Then Colin Pardo has got the third with the 
Stuck Blight in fourth place, Reds Blackbourne in five as the leaders coming out of that top corner and Paul White them Jeff Digger in close to Colin Blackbourne now. Up the back straight once again then, Colin Blackbourne still leads, Paul White them again trying to close the gap in second place, but Colin Blackbourne tremendous speed going up that back straight, there's three back between them as they enter the top turn once again, Blackbourne round the mid-track and Paul White the more is round the same this time, Pardo hangs on to that third place for Step Blow and Paul Hunt, Blackburn and Boyle. Up the back straight, Colin Blackburn and Paul Whiteland Jr. Have the advantage over Paul Whiteland rolling wrong in second place, but he's to a long, long way curve. Colin Pardo Grimley hanging on to that third place for Step Blow, up into the coach in four. Colin Blackburn picks up the winning line. Second place the fitting four step play, making a move round the outside of that top corner. Colin Powder holds the inside line, step play, gets the third, gets that ball in. Good play. Super action again there in race number 26, but of course we discount uh, Colin uh, Blackbourne, so it's a win for number 92, Paul Whiteland and Alan Elliott. Second number 16, Colin Pardo and Dan Seville. And third number 30, Step Bly and Jason Gill. Fourth, number 26. Looks like waiting for Rob Bradley to go right to the outside of the grid there for uh, this one. Looks like Paul Preston comes in alongside him. And looks if uh, Paul White, them junior and Colin Blackwell again have got machine problems. They had machine problems in the last ride and had to push across the line and the bike has died again on the line before race number 27. So the grid looks like Rob Winterburn gone through into second place. He's lost that second place now as he moves in the top corner for the first time. Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson have the advantage as they come into view for the first time. Rob and Gareth Winterburn holds that second place position. <laughs> As they go up the back straight once again, it's still Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson being pushed to the way there by Rob and Gareth Winterbourne. Good ride by Paul Whiteland Jr. with Colin Blackburn in the chair, they tuck into third place. Chris Bars has now gone through into the fourth place position as Bradley still leads to them. Winterbourne's trying to close it up there. It's Whiteland Jr. in third, Bars in third, Bradley shoulder to shoulder for Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson clear going up that back straight. Rob right and Gareth Winterbourne definitely close the gap in second. Paul Whiteland Jr. Colin Blackburn hold the third. But Chris Bars is starting to hunt them down in fourth place now as Bradley leads them on to four then. And Winterbourne holding the uh, second place. It's Rob and Jr. in third. Spires getting close in fourth. Race number 27, another heat of a thousand cc sound cars up top two to two. Coming up for Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. They're going to get the winning line in race number 27. Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson make it two to two. Running down the pick up the second place. Paul Whiteland Jr. and Colin Blackburn pick up the third. The Spires gets the fourth place. Next to the Sixth place. Race number 27, the win for number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Second number 48, Rod and Gareth Winterburn. Third, number 192, Paul Whiteham Jr. and Colin Blackbourne. Six, 228 and 49. Of the pre 
There's a couple of sandwiches now. 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 There's a couple of sandwiches Morris Jones still there in second place. It's John Shomwood on in third. With Dave Needham holding the fourth place. This needs four pulling away from the remainder of the field. Newman leads it to the season. Jones in second. Shomwood on. We've got Jones and Jones again in that top corner. And Shomwood on almost through. On the inside of Jones. A bunch of going into that top end. Still Newman leads it. Jones in second. Shomwood on gets close in third. These three pulling away from Needham in fourth place. Down the back straight they go once again and still Nigel Newman, Morris Jones again making the move in that second place, he's almost on the shoulder of Nigel Newman now as they exit that pitch corner and complete lap two. Newman leads it and Jones is second, Shalman on in third, Needham's in fourth, Pindos is in five, Frank Yates in six, that's the six. Down the back straight once again, Shalman on in on the shoulder of Morris Jones going down that back straight about Nothing much between first, second and third. They go into the pitch corner on lap number three. It's still round right number 12. Nigel Newman, Morris Jones begging to move around the outside of that pitch corner. He's on the shoulder of Nigel Newman there, but Newman comes again. Back up the inside to leave him on the floor. Newman leaves Jones in second. Charmed on in third. Newman in fourth. Finlow in five. They pass the back marker. The leading three, about three bites between the leading three as they go down the back straight. Once again, it's still Nigel Newman. He's starting to pull away there, but Morris Jones in second. John Charmed on again, trying to close. There's a gap in third, they enter the pitch corner for the final time and there's no one ever for Morris Jones. I think Nigel Newman's got a little bit of hand as they exit that to bottom corner. Nigel Newman wins it, second is Morris Jones, third place John Shalmadine. Fourth is Gary Fenlow, Dave Needham is in five. Yeah. Frank Yates, the next rider across the line with 105 in seventh place. Race 28, then a win for number 12, Nigel Newman. Second, number 11, Morris Jones. And third, number 42, John Shalmadine. Six, three, six, four, two, and 105. Race 29, the start of the third leg of the under 21, the lead number 23, Chris Johnson, and Stephen Taylor will be number 23. The position after two legs of the under 21, Lewis Dunn at 18. Tim Mills, Jamie Rogers, 16. Thomas Cooper, 15. Stephen Taylor, Charlie Saunders, 14. Adam Thurman, 12. That's the leading position after two legs of the under 21 championship. The government team, Lewis Dunn at 18. Thomas Cooper, 16. The start could be crucial. Lewis Dunn has made that start. Four place Stephen Taylor back in four place at the top four as they go down the back straight once again. It's Lewis Denham already with big lead. Thomas Cooper goes through in the second place, but now loses that second place. They're going into the pitch corner for the second time. But look at the lead that Denham's got the defending champion. Well clear the front in this team third leg behind him. Seventh place. A win for number 81, Lewis Denham. Second, 151, Rob Meir. Third, 153, Thomas Cooper. And fourth, 
number 23, Stephen Taylor. Fifth, number 47. Six, number 37. And seventh, number 24. Riders 153 and 23 have been docked one place each for taking the pegs out. Over on that far side of the track, I think it may well be Martin Ruffler strong then over on the far side. Red plans are out. Red plans are out, I'm sure it's Martin Ruffler strong then over on that far side. We'll see they come into view. Yes, it is Martin Ruffler that's gone down over on the far side of the track while holding about fourth place position. And Tim Noves has got by problem with more drama again in this under 21 championship because Tim Noves absolutely furious. Tim pulls on the middle of the track, one of the favourites, and Tim Noves has got by problem with so all sorts of drama going on in these legs of the under 21 championship as Charlie Sawyer knows the race leader. He's in third, he has in the Scott Company, second Michael Ford is in third, David Ellis is in third, Andrew Whittaker is in sixth place. Number 17 holds that seventh place for this, and that's Harlan Cook in sevens again. The back straight once again. A very dejected Tim Noble, just on the bike, sorted out last weekend, ready for this very important weekend, which will clear now for Charlie Sawyer as he also did a complete lap of the children. From Scott Campus in second place, a wide run in Michael Fox, a hold to third. From Dave Williams in fourth, Andrew Witherden in five, Harlan Cook holds the sixth place again. The back straight once again, important for us. Coming away with Charlie Sawyer, he looks behind him, he's got a big lead run over Scott Campus, who still holds that second plate vision. Into the pitch corner in lap number three, and goes through the race to the start wheeling on the exit from that corner. Charlie Sawyer leads him under four from Campus in second place. It's Falker in two, it's Raymond in two, Hiddleston in five, Harlan Cook in six. That's the six there, last but out now in race number 30 as Charlie Sawyer leads going down the back straight for the Kamoto, a big, big lead. Over Scott Campus in second place, so number 25, Charlie Saunders picks up the winning ride in race number 30, Charlie Saunders wins it. Second place goes to Scott Campus. Third place is Michael Faulkner. Fourth is Dave Rollins. Fifth place, Andrew Whittaker. And sixth place should be number 17, Harlan Cook. So drama in race 13, 30, we already had a situation where Steve Brayford didn't come out for that race having had an engine failure in the previous race and now Tim Nobbs has got bike failure and with every point counting in every race that is absolute disaster. Race 30 result, important win for number 25 Charlie Saunders, second number 178 Scott Campus and third 144 Michael Faulkner, 887. 7 and 17. Race 31, another leg of the under 21 championship, the league number 4, Jack Roberts. And it is to Jamie Rogers, rather slowly coming out of that top point. Did he have a bit of a problem there? He's got a good lead and look for Paul Derrick gone through into second place with Mark Richardson holding the third place position. Actually, in that pits corner, it's the spectacular Roger Lee. Richardson holds the third. 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 
And it's still John Rogers on with a big lead, going into that pit corner once again. He's well clear of Paul Derrick in second place. Important points from the race. John Rogers now he leads that one for the wide running Paul Derrick in second place. All the action on the third, fourth, and fifth places. It's still Mark Wilson holding on to that third place with number 13, Doug Watts in fourth place. That's the your top fours are going the backstroke once again. Jamie Rogers exiting that pitch corner and taking the last up flag. Well clear of Paul Derrick in second place. Rogers leads. Into that top corner, for the Tomo Tom, he's a length of a straightaway from the second place rider with 117 Paul Derrick. Good strap then on the third, fourth and fifth places. And it's from the sixth year old Dan Bell, it's gone from the third, third in the top fifth corner to Winston Drop Machine Problem is here, Rory Cabell picks up another place as the last lap player then for number 71, Johnny Rogers wins race number 31. We're looking at Paul Derrick to come across the line in second place. Paul Derrick picks up that second place vision. Looking for 68, Daniel Bellick in third, Watts is in four, Richardson in five, Mia in six, Cavell in seven, and Jack Meredith in eighth place. Race 31, then he went for number 71, Jamie Rogers. Second number 117, Paul Derrick, and third number 68, Dan Berwick. 13, 18, 14, 36, 4, 6, 1. Race 32, start of the another heat of the 250s, delete 42, put in 64, right.